Hey friends, my name is Kyla and today I'll be unboxing the Make Joys Happen Black Friday box from Bath & Body Works. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing. If you like Bath & Body Works content, let me know because I could do so much Bath & Body Works content. I bought this box on Monday of the Black Friday week from Bath & Body Works because if you paid $40 for any products at all, uh, you could get the box for $40 also, so I did. I didn't buy any candles, I did not do that this time. But I bought some body care and uh, that hasn't come in yet. Only the box has come in. I spent $40 and so I got the box. So we'll do the unboxing thing. So it's this Make Joy Happen box. It's shiny, mostly silver. So I said online, this was a $115 value and I paid $40 for it. If you already paid $40 for other products and you could only buy this on Monday this week if you were a member, an app rewards member, I believe. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Okay, I might as well start with the smallest item. It has a pocket back with the iced cinnamon rolls, a little gingerbread house on it. it smells pretty good. You can't really smell because it also smells like hand sanitizer, but you can always use a new pocket back. This is retail price is uh, $1.95 for a pocket back. This is the sugared snickerdoodle bath fizzy. I've never used a Bath and Body Works bath fizzy before. I'm not really big on taking baths. And the retail price for this is $9.95, which is a pretty expensive bath fizzy, I'd say, like a bath bomb. You can't really smell it through the packaging, but it says it's sugared snickerdoodle. And I've burned sugared snickerdoodle candles before from Bath and Body Works, so it probably smells like that. A sugared snickerdoodle single wick with the same little gingerbread house. I already had two sugared snickerdoodle single wicks and I completely burned one, so I just have one left. By the way, I am burning a Bath and Body Works vampire blood candle behind me on the desk here. And in the kitchen, I'm burning the royalty candles pumpkin creme brulee uh, winter lux candle. Yep, it smells exactly like sugared snickerdoodle. Now I have two again. I burned the other one because I don't really like to have duplicates of the same candle. So I burned that one up and now I got another one, but I love this scent, so I'm not upset about it. The notes are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. On the website, it did say everything that was in the box, but I'm just going through it one by one. Okay, another mini, a sugared snickerdoodle hand cream. I have started using a hand cream from Bath & Body Works, the A Thousand Wishes scent. I can't tell if I'm having an allergic reaction to it. I'm very sensitive to different lotions and creams. My skin is just so sensitive. I'll keep giving it a try, but I don't know if I can use these hand creams, but Dennis likes them. Okay, now onto the bigger items in the box. The fresh balsam soap with notes of woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, and cedarwood. I usually stay away from Christmas tree scents because in my past, I remember I don't really like them. Also recently, Bath & Body Works did have a soap sale, the $2.95 soaps. So I did stock up then and I did not get anything that was balsam scented. Yeah, it just smells like a Christmas tree. It's less strong than I thought it would be. So I really do appreciate that. You no, know, that's, that's a really nice Christmas scent. Maybe I could put this in my kitchen or my bathroom, I guess, either one. And it does have the exclusive packaging for the uh, Make Joy Happen box. So that's why it looks like that. I believe the gingerbread house is also exclusive packaging, exclusive to this box. Okay, and also a matching fresh balsam candle with the same packaging. That's that's what I had remembered that this smelled like. Very strong. The soap, very subtle. I could use the soap. I can enjoy the soap. This is so strong. I do plan on having a Christmas party this year and I think I'll be burning this during then. Put it near my Christmas tree. I have a fake Christmas tree that's white and has rainbow colors through it so I don't have to put lights on it. So I have like a decoration bookshelf next to the Christmas tree and I'll just burn this on it during the Christmas party. It's just so strong with notes of the woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fir branches and cedar wood. This adds fir branches to it. Maybe that's what's so strong. Okay, last three items in the box. These are the things I was most excited for. The Dream Bright collection. So I love the candle of Dream Bright. I haven't burned it yet, but I like it, the smell cold. And I was wanting to get the body care of the Dream Bright. And it came in the box and I was like, oh, coincidental. I was gonna buy the spray. I was planning on buying the spray come body care day in a few weeks. But if it came in this box with all these other things, it seems like a good deal to me. That is so good. It's so elegant. So the notes are sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. I mostly smell orchid. To me, this is a very floral scent. I don't really get much berry. I might have said that with the candle too. Anyway, I really do like this scent. I'm really glad to have it. Lately, I've been very interested in collecting some Bath & Body Works Super Fine Fragrance Mists. Um, I have quite the collection. Let me know if you want to see it. Let me know in the comments. Oh, that smells so good. So the box also had um, the Dream 
right in the shower gel and the body lotion. Uh, I really love Bath & Body Works shower gels. Right now I'm currently using maple pecan waffles. No, it's actually pumpkin pecan waffles, but I don't smell the pumpkin in it. So I just call it maple pecan waffles. I really love Bath & Body Works shower gels. I bought a few stashed up. Mm, that's so nice. We just leave the shower gel in our shower and both Dennis and I use it. This doesn't really smell like a scent that he would like, I don't think. He doesn't really like florals. He likes a lot of fruits and gourmands. That's so nice. I'm excited to have this shower gel. And also for the lotion. I don't know if I'm allergic to these lotions. I'm not gonna open it right now in case I give it away, but I'll probably just use it. I might just use it anyways for like put lotion on my feet or have Dennis rub my back. I don't mind using lotion for that as long as it's not on my hands and as long as it doesn't get on my face. I'm probably okay. The shower gel and the lotion are different sizes and I believe they used to be the same size. They're both $15.50 individually retail price. Oh, I forgot to be saying the retail prices of all these things. This is 10 fluid ounces and this is eight fluid ounces. What a size difference. I guess you might be using more shower gel at a time than you are using as much lotion at a time. So maybe that's why they do that. So I'll just go through and say all the, the individual retail price for all these items. The shower gel is $15.50 individually and the lotion is $15.50. The fine fragrance mist is 1750. I've noticed they've raised the price on some fine fragrance mist. I thought they all were like 1550 to 1660. And we have a three wick candle. This three wick candle is usually 2550, but it comes with the exclusive packaging. The soap's individual price is 750, but they pretty much always have a buy five for $25 deal going on, except for hand soap day, which was 295. And the individual candle is 1550, but you can usually buy two for $22. The pocket back is um, $1.95 and the hand cream is usually $8.50, and the bath fizz is usually $9.95. So I think this box is a really good deal for $40 with all of those things, even though you could probably buy these on Body Care Day for $5.50, it's what they have been in the past, they might increase the price. And the soap, uh, soap day was $2.95, and the mini sales, oh, I, I did buy a lot on the mini sales, I have plans for those. I believe those were $2.95 each, each of the items, and that included the hand cream, and the bath fizzies, not the pocket bath. That's just $1.95. Anyway, I think this box was a good deal for $40. You could give this whole thing as a gift, or you could take it all apart and give it individual gifts separately. Keep some of it for yourself, give some away. If they like Dream Bright, that'd be a good seller. I, I personally really like Dream Bright and was really glad to get it. That was, I mean, if it weren't Dream Bright in there, if it were some other scent, I don't know if I'd be so interested in getting it. I love A Thousand Wishes, so I would've gotten A Thousand Wishes. But if it were like Vanilla Bean Noel or Winter Candy Apple, I don't know if I would've felt as compelled to buy this as like, if it's Dream Bright, I smell that. And definitely not Twisted Peppermint. I haven't tried Twisted peppermint in the body care in years. I remember I had a mini, a mini of the sprays and a mini of the, uh, I believe lotion uh, years ago. And I just don't like the smell of peppermint that much. Like in body care, I don't want to like spray peppermint on me. So I'm not a big fan of peppermint. I do like winter candy apple from what I remember. It's been a while since I've smelled this. I more recently got into Bath and Body Works again, really interested in it and collecting and learning about the sales and keeping track of it. Anyways, if you were to buy this as a gift, like that's a solid gift for $40. That's a lot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.